Hey everybody, it's Ron at LaRusso Gardens. This is part two of the two-part video on how to make raw honey. Yesterday I showed you how I scraped out all the comb into this screen to drain out into the bucket. It's been sitting for about 24 hours in my boiler room, which is warmer than room temperature. There's still a little bit in there, but for the most part, it's all gone. Down into here. So now, just gonna jar it up into these. Kaylee, this one's got your name on it. I promised you last time, and I forgot to give it to you. But there should be a, a good amount in there. But I'm using one hand once again, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Hold on one second. Here we go, starting to flow. Not sure how many jars I'll get from this. It was about just about two frames, medium frames worth of honey I put in there. And uh, let's let this do its thing. It's going to be difficult recording and doing this with one hand, but I'll pause it and I'll show you uh, once it's full. I'm not going to show every jar I fill, obviously. I just wanted to give you an idea how easy it is to make some honey. Here's one jar of raw honey. Um, plenty more in there. I'd say you get about, it'll probably do about six jars that size. I'm not going to waste my time showing you me filling every jar, but you get the idea how it's done. I suggest, if you're into it, get some bees and start doing it. They do a lot of good for the environment, and if you have a garden, I noticed with my garden, I got about triple the production from them pollinating everything. There you have it, some raw honey. Have a nice day, thank you.